Now, when it comes to technology, you, uh, you and me can agree that Neo is on another level. And one thing that we've been discussing, or one of the things that we discuss a lot on this video, is some of the massive features that you find on to Neo cars. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is that the video that I'm just showing you now, it will, as seen on the screen, it is showing you an accessory that can open the trunk by just stepping on the projections onto the Neo ET5 Touring. This feature can be, I think, on any Neo car at a cost of just around 1,198 yen. I mean, this is a function that honestly is very, very super convenient. Um, I mean, you don't have to go open the boot or underneath the car like what some of these luxury brands are, are using to open the boot, but this one it has got a a sensor uh, that you just step on just not even under the car and when you step on it it opens the car you step on it it closes the car and this this shows you of when you is at i know to some people it might be like probably a waste of money or what but to me it's all about convenience because uh, uh, unlike some of these other sensors like i said that you need to get closer to the boat either you press a remote either you 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 play or you you move your foot sideways under the car this one just before you get to the car you just there's a projection or a projector that comes and you step on that light as you step on that light or that icon the boat open you step on it again it closes this is the convenience that neo is offering and it's not that bad man it's so cheap I mean, 1,198 yen, then you get this feature. It's something that is very, very, very good. I will play the full video for you maybe at the end of this video, but $466 right now, you can get this feature, which is something that is just so, so great, man. I, I mean, if I was the one owning a Neo car, I mean, if it's possible for Neo to install it, I think they can install it after. I, I was definitely going to consider adding this feature to my car because, look, like I said, it's convenient. I mean, every day, almost every day myself, I open my trunk so many times because when I go to work, I put, that's why I'm putting my laptop back in my trunk. I'm opening, I'm closing. And what better way now to know that you just have to step on the light, you don't have to uh, do any funny things on the car, you step on that uh, projected light, then you open your boot, you close your boot. I will, however, would like to know, or one thing that um, I'm quite, pretty interested to know is that how does one do it maybe um, when it's sunny, when you can't really see, but obviously I'm quite certain that there is a way that Neo makes it to be to be visible right and you are able to open and close the, the trunk of your car by just stepping onto that light but it it comes in handy honestly because sometimes you are carrying a lot of luggage you are carrying a lot of maybe you're coming from shopping but and you have to put your 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 luggage down to open the trunk or you have to for you not to be able to scratch your car uh, you have to put your 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 luggage or whatever you are carrying down so that you can open the trunk nicely but with this one it's like you are walking you just go and step on it and it opens the trunk which is a very good feature honestly in my personal opinion that shows you where Neo is at when it comes to technology there is a statement that the Neo CEO said and has been saying and so many people take it for granted and that is Neo when it comes to technology it's up here and will forever remain up here and neo it's not just only a a an, a, a, a an ev car company selling ev cars but it's also a software company because right now they've got the sky os operating software they, 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 they they've got a nop navigation on or an autopilot they've got systems in place software systems they are building chips they are also going to build batteries they are also deploying battery shopping stations infrastructure infrastructure maniac is the perfect word as per the, what the neo ceo would use uh, time and again this shows you that neo is very far neo it's a company which is 
expected to do very well, it will do very well. And those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time. I mean, yes, NEO share price might not be where we want it to, but this is a company that we can expect great things to come uh, from, right? Because of features like this, because of technologies like this. I mean, one thing that we discussed during this week is that the NEO CEO came in and said, look, he's not interested in participating into price or into EV price wars. Uh, all he wants to do or what he wants to do rather is to make sure that his cars continue, they continue with the innovating uh, innovation of his cars because that is what will matter at the end of the day. These are some of the features that matters when you are deciding. If you have the money for buying NEO, I don't think you can decide to go buy a mass market product when you can buy a NEO. People want convenience and NEO. It is that car company that will give you the kind of convenience you need. So I am happy. I am excited even about this feature and it shows you the progress that NEO continues to make on a daily basis. Every day, every day, NEO team is working to make sure that their cars, not just for the main brands, but also for the sub brands, they improve, they get better and better every day. So, I mean, yesterday I saw a video of the Firefly president addressing some of the comments coming from the Firefly users as to what are the updates, some of the updates coming, why, why, when are some of the features coming. The good thing that I saw from that uh, video, he said there are also massive updates coming next coming month, July and, and August, and they are going to make sure that their user enjoy driving their Firefly sub brand, which is something that is great something that is very very exciting and it shows you that not only is neo focusing only on their main brand when it comes to technology but also their sub brands also they want to make sure that they are able to compete they take them to the next level which is something that is great one thing that will be different that we have seen from neo difference between neo and onvo it's it's technology right neo's technology is up here onvo's technology it's here I mean, Neo's autonomous driving is on level 3. Onvo's autonomous driving, though, it's pronounced as level 3, but I think it is still gauged on level 2, right? But again, this shows you that we are seeing that Neo is here, Onvo is here, and Firefly, right? But let's wait, let's see what happens. But the good thing that I'm liking is that in as much as new it's updating bringing massive features onto their main brand they are also making sure that their sub brands don't get to be left behind which is something that i'm liking and i it gives me the confidence to say that neo will do very very well not just with their main brand but also their sub brands which is great so yeah man tell me what you think about this i'll see you on the next one my dear friends just thought i'd come and give you this quick update don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That's all from me and God bless you all.